Pretty much for a majority of my life, I was always the skeleton in every single room that I walked in. I was 115 pounds, I couldn't really curl any weight at all, let alone even do a proper push-up with good form. And this just made me not feel confident with my own body anywhere I went. I always dreamed of having that cool looking aesthetic physique my whole entire life. Always seeing people like John Cena and all these WWE wrestlers with these aesthetic physiques. Fast forward today, I'm 170 pounds. I have an aesthetic physique and I've been able to consistently stick to my workout routine for three years straight. In this video, I'm gonna show you the full entire blueprint on how to build this aesthetic physique. First of all, what is an aesthetic physique? An aesthetic physique has a V taper to it, a low body fat and great muscle definition. Let's begin with the workout routine. You first need to pick a routine that you can consistently stick to with no problems at all. Most people make the mistake of trying to go to the gym seven days a week and then they can't stick to that routine consistently for even three weeks. I lift weights three times a week. I can consistently follow that with no problem at all. I personally recommend lifting weights three times a week because honestly, that is really all you need. You don't need to be in the gym lifting weights six times a week, stressing your body out, losing a bunch of energy, and seeing no progress at all. My personal workout routine consists of chest and arms, shoulders and back, leg and core. And this is the part where most people mess up when it comes to lifting weights. You need to get stronger every time you're in the gym. I wasted so much time in the beginning of my workout routine, constantly asking myself, why am I not getting stronger? Is it that I'm not lifting weights for longer hours? Is it that I'm not doing enough exercises? The truth was I was doing too many exercises but I wasn't getting stronger in the gym. I aimed to hit five pounds more or one rep more per exercise every single time I go into the gym. Let's say I did chest and arms on Monday. I did machine preacher curls and I was able to curl 115 pounds for five reps. The next time I do preacher curls, my aim is to do 120 pounds or six reps. If you can consistently do this week by week, you are pushing your muscles past its limits, resulting into you building more muscle because your body has to adapt to the new stress. I only do one set till failure. And when I say failure, I'm talking about to the point where I cannot do good form anymore for any more reps. And the trick is to slowly control your form on every exercise. Now it is time to go into the diet section. I'm here to tell you in this one simple sentence, if you want to make dieting so easy to follow, you need to make a diet you can eat every single day. Most people are gonna have different opinions about this. Oh, you can't eat the same food every day. What if you don't enjoy it? That's why you need to make a diet that you do enjoy. You need to build a diet that is easy and simple for you to follow. You want to minimize the amount of stress it takes to eat food. Eating the food should not be the hardest part. What you should really be dedicating your time to is getting stronger in the gym and resting your body. So how do you make a diet you can consistently eat every single day? First, you need to figure out how many calories your body needs. You can easily go to a calorie intake calculator website. There's a bunch of them online. Once you've clicked one, put in your basic stats and it's gonna give you a number. Now, you're going to take this number and divide it by the amount of meals you wanna eat in a day. Personally, I eat three meals a day. I don't like eating four or five meals. I feel like it's too much eating, too much time I'm wasting in my day trying to just eat food. Simply three foods, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're gonna divide the amount of meals that you want and this is how many calories each meal needs in order for you to hit those calorie goals. I use this little experiment on myself and I do this with all my other students who have also transformed their physique to build an aesthetic physique. You're going to write down all the foods you enjoy eating. You can make a list of 15 or 20 foods. This can be chicken breasts, this can be ground beef. List up all the foods you enjoy eating that are relatively healthy. Once you have picked this list, ask yourself this hypothetical question. If you can only eat 
10 or 15 foods for the rest of your life from the list that you created, what is it going to be? What are you going to choose? And from there, you are going to be careful on what foods you're going to choose because you're going to make sure you enjoy it. Whatever is left, you're going to create a meal plan revolving around the choices you decided to keep for the rest of your life. And from there, experiment. What I usually do for breakfast, I always make an egg burrito. Lunch, I make a Greek yogurt bowl with a bunch of healthy seeds and nuts. Experiment with yourself. This is your journey. You need to figure out what do you enjoy. And I guarantee you, once you have figured out what you enjoy, you're going to have zero problem on what meal plan you should eat and to consistently eat your diet. And then the final aspect is rest. This is pretty simple. You want to make sure you're getting the right amount of sleep every single night. I get around six hours and 30 minutes to seven hours of quality sleep. To get quality sleep, you need to put your sleep environment in a peaceful way. Turn off the lights, turn off the blue light, make your room cold, make sure your bed is comfortable and go to sleep the same time every single night. Make sure you rest your muscles every week for one week. I do chest and arms on Tuesday, shoulders and back on Thursday, leg and core on Friday. I give each of my muscles one week of rest before I train them again. So if I train chest and arms on Tuesday, the next time I'm gonna train chest and arms again is next week, Tuesday. I give myself one week of rest to fully recharge my body, to recharge the muscles so I can come back stronger when I get into the gym. And this has allowed me to consistently get stronger every single time I walk in there. I always go for a 30 minute to an hour walk every day. Whether that's me digesting my food once I'm done eating, I always like to go for a five to 10 minute walk to digest that food quicker and burn extra calories, allowing me to stay lean throughout the whole entire process of building muscle. I promise you, you don't just want to eat a bunch of food, try to put on muscle and not move your body. I was pre-diabetic one point in my life and it was not a fun experience, simply because I was not moving my body as much. I have now devoted my days to moving around more, getting at least eight to 10,000 steps consistently. If you do everything I told you in this video, I promise you, you will build an aesthetic physique. You're going to have that physique to where you can take off your shirt by the pool, in the beach, or even in your house, and you're going to feel comfortable and confident anywhere you go. Subscribe to continue getting notifications on new videos coming out. And like always, peace out.